There's a new Clash Quest update, and it is not going global yet. You have to check out Clash.com for more information. It's still only in Canada and some select countries. We have clans, clan leagues, new bosses, new truth, and new spells. Oh, and all these other magic items. So it's been a while since they've launched, and they have needed clans for a long time now. You can have up to 20 members in here. A nice little clan chat. And there's clan leagues, which is kind of like the compass. So the difficulty is kind of based on the numbers. You can see the one is there. You can get one point for this. 11 points for this so it's gonna be a little bit harder how does this all work oh well now let's do this 10 stage one that ch never mind i already used my attack with the power of the dev build it's the next day and we have our new season attack i guess you can only do one a day that they need to change that my goodness i am going to use all my barbarians now that i don't uh, now which is, oh my goodness fireball's killed it all i'm so strong is way too easy of course I'm, I'm maxed out oh i don't even have enough troops and you can't use magic items in the clan leagues okay we got eight points for that now my clan mates can attack let that oj fell off clear it up for me i brought him to the, the eighth level it's gonna be easy let's talk about this bomb miner so you're gonna unlock the bomb miner right here oh look at that we got dune dragons too new troops bring it on so he attacks from the back okay there's a bomb there is it gonna explode Okay, the bomb explodes after. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, it looks like the Dune Dragon just stunned my prince, so I can't attack with the prince. Oh, that's a 3x3 three three radius with the bomb miner. Oh, dearest me. What happens if I use all five? Oh, that is going to go off. That just wrecked the back completely. So there's a delay time on there. Okay. So the Dune Miner misses and he'll only attacks forward. That's good to know. I didn't need to three star the stage. I wanted to two star it with my max out cards. Wall pieces get two times damage. He's got the fire bomb. They can catch on fire. Charging bomb increases in damage. Really? That's kind of cool. If he stays alive, targeted enemy gets zapped. Let's check with this one. With the scared skeleton troop. I think the scared skeleton has a helmet. Yeah, there's the helmet. I think there's a shield when he's underground. Oh, you can. I love how you can tell the difference. Level three is like a barrel. Level four is the, the cannon thing. Level four is like a tin pot. Here's my earthquake. It goes in a plus formation. Ooh. Ooh. Let's take him out. Are my bomb miners fully charged? Let's let's get at it. They're not detonating yet. Okay. There it is. So you gotta wait for the detonation. Bombers are just so strong, so strong. I like Earthquake. Look at that. Didn't even need to use my Pekos or Rockets. 352 damage at max level. So we get the Earthquake just after stage 48. And then the switch tactic right after stage 50. You can switch the position of any units on the board. Let's wake up the Tesla. The big bomb bomb boom booms. And then I'm going to switch my Goblin there. Oh, that would have required more than one switch book. That is so OP. I could switch the Bomber just right there. Not that that was a good position for it. Kind of just want to Earthquake that away into the second round. Oh, it feels so wasteful to do one switch on the Goblins like that, but... And for the finisher archers. With all these bosses, first we've got the Goblin King. I know I'm maxed out, so I don't want to... Let's not kill him. Hurts that one row, but it, it didn't even take with the archers. Well, I guess it, it would have if I wasn't maxed out. So there's that. Then you've got the Lava Golem. I think if we take out his left arm, he can't attack from the left side. Leaves him a bit more vulnerable. Since his hand's in the air, let's use the P.E.K.K.A. There we go. And then use the... I reckon we could... Two shot him. Oh, level 10 Pekka. <laughs> so good. They need Lava Golem and Clash of Clans and Clash Rail. That'd be sick. Then in Shock Shores, we've got a new boss in town, Volt Viper. Keep in mind, this is with level 10 cards. I don't want to play with level seven cards because I'm awesome. Basically, you have to hit all the other things behind it. The head is invulnerable. So if I use all my archers in there, it's going to deal zero damage. Uh, so I'm just going to use the bomber and it's going to wreck everything behind him. So far, so good. Oh my, oh dear. Am I winning? I used up all my items. You don't attack the head. You just have to take the tails. All right, all right, all right, all right. And I might have wasted all my archers for that one example to prove a point. Baby dragon. It's adorable. Oh, no, no, no. Papa dragon. Yeah. Papa dragon doesn't get attacked by ground troops. So you got to attack it with air while it's still floating. Ideally, I'm using archers while... 
Papa boy there is flying, but once he's on the ground, get ready. Oh, I can only do goblins? Oh, okay. Prince, there's actually no combos. Please tell me this takes him out. With max level cards, I barely won. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have used my magic items. I love the Lava Hound. There's one more troop too. The Bone Brothers after this. Wait, why did I switch that? You know what? You can only restart at the start of the game. Fine. I could rearrange my troops if I want to. I can refill my troops where I can use magic missiles. <laughs> That's cheating. That's illegal. Let's just keep damaging him. There we go. Now he's on the ground. Let's open up the gate, take out one lava pup, and then I can chain all of my goblins since it's on the ground for now. And let's say I want to undo my turn. M maybe I missed swapping that goblin. A little bit more damage. Look at that. Maybe I want to rearrange my troops. Oh, the minion value there. Let's get it. Oh, you you just wait. Use my heal spell. I never use I don't I, I need to use that more often. I'm gonna use the goblin to cycle the turn. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Now we can kill the Lava Hound with the Prince. Fancy. Use all of our spells. Sure, why not? So that's the Lava Hound. And then we've got the Canine Brothers. Bone Bros. I think if they land on the bone, then they deal more damage or something. Uh-oh. He's fired up. He's going to deal way more damage. Oh, that whole row is stunned now. They're incapacitated. I can switch my barbarians though, or I can rearrange. Okay, rearranging was a terrible idea. That only made things worse because my troops were stunned. Are they gonna unstun in one turn? Okay, they do, perfect. Whew. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. What if I just use magic items? That is, that is so illegal. <laughs> Since they're beside each other, I'm gonna use the giant to splash on them. Oh yeah, let's take him out with there. I use the prince to cycle to my giants. I can do a wamble combo there. He was fired up there for a second. That's the bone bros. When they step on the bones, they have more boom booms. Oh, and I guess there's the, the restart token. You can restart the whole match completely. Let's say I do that. It only works in the first turn. You could buy the magic items in the shop. You could buy them in bundles. Oh, look at that. So let's say in the clan leagues, one of my clan mates got this to level eight. I'm going to take off where they left off. Kind of like a baton. So we cleared the ninth one. Go off with a bang. We're, we're, we're high level and the levels get higher as we progress. Oh, look at that. Lava hound boss. No. Only one attack? We need more! And just like that, it's the next day. I'm gonna combine my minions. I miss my magic items. I feel kind of vulnerable right now. I'm just gonna keep cycling. They're on the ground. They're on the ground. We, we strike. We strike. Heal up my archer so she doesn't die. And then we just strike the heck out of that lava hound. That's gotta pop the lava hound. Now we gotta deal with the pups. Oh, dear. Oh, I got, I got new troops for that. You got six points for that. <laughs> and just like that... I am the third best clan in the entire world in the dev build. And we get rewards for that too. Nice attack, bro. New troops, new magic items, new bosses, new spells. And finally, a clan system. This is getting closer and closer to global launch, I hope. Or deletion, one or the other, you know, one or, yeah. It's not globally released yet, so it's only available in select countries like Canada and Finland and a few others, I forgot. You can check out clash.com to pre-register for that, or just use a VPN into Canada and then download the app. I enjoy the game. I play it every day. It's very casual. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more videos, they're going to be up there. If you want to subscribe, there's the bell button. See y'all later.